All right, let's talk about the different units that we can use to measure uh, angles with. Uh, there are three that are commonly known. There are degrees, radians, and gradients. A uh, degree, of course, is 1 360th of a circle. Uh, a radian, people don't usually talk about like one radian or two radians or whatever. Uh, radians are usually given as multiples of pi. But if you did pull out and just say, what's, uh, what's an angle of one radian look like? Uh, one radian is approximately 57.296 degrees. Now, here's why it's defined like that. It's defined that way to make a right angle, pi over 2, and to make a full revolution, 2 pi radians. Let me draw a picture. If you take a circle and you draw an angle, a central angle, of one radian, I'm going to just eyeball this, that's about one radian. If you do that, then both of these are the radius of the circle. Well, if, that's a, if that angle is exactly one radian, then the length of that arc there between, between those two um, lines is going to be exactly the same as the radius. And that's how radian is defined. Now, one interesting thing, we can look at this and determine that this angle We can look at this and convince ourselves that this is uh, correct, or at least that it, there, that it seems like it could be correct. If you look at this, the if I connect this line, or if I connect that point to this point with the line, we get a triangle. And it's kind of close to being an equilateral triangle, but it's not quite. The reason is, if you go from this point to this point, if you go along this arc, that's a length of r. So this length right here is a little bit less than r. So that means that our triangle here is not quite an equilateral triangle. Why? Because this one is a little bit too short. Now if it were equilateral, all three of these angles would be 60 degrees. But since this side is a little short, it's going to be an isosceles triangle. And this angle here is going to be a little bit less than 60. So it makes sense that, um, that this is the measure of that angle. Okay, radians are unitless. So if somebody gives you a number for an angle, then if it doesn't have the little degree symbol on it, you should assume that it means radians. All right. Um, a gradient. Um, a gradient is... Uh, another unit. We're not going to use it, but I wanted to mention it. Gradients, sometimes you'll see calculators that have a DRG button on it for converting between degrees, radians, and gradients. A uh, gradient is 1 400th of a circle, and the reason it was defined that way was so that a right angle would be 100 gradients. And they've also been called a metric degree. Uh, these really came out of France after the French Revolution. At that point, they were really pressing the metric system. And, you know, the metric system's great for some things, but they tried to use metric for angles. They even tried to do metric time. You, you can look up uh, metric clocks if you do a Google search, and you'll see uh, clocks that they made that have 10 hours on them. And they redefine the hour and they redefine minutes so that uh, I want to say a day consisted of 100,000 seconds. Um, anyway. They, they kind of, uh, you know, went a little uh, metric crazy there. And so that didn't catch on, and gradients didn't really catch on either. They, um, they still get used in some uh, surveying stuff in Europe, some surveying applications. But um, they're not really used anywhere else. All right, I want to do a few examples here. Converting, um, converting, between, angles, uh, converting angles between degrees and radians. What you want to do is multiply by 2 pi over 360 or 360 over 2 pi. The idea here is that um, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. So if you multiply by 360 degrees over 2 pi, if those two quantities are equal, then you're just multiplying by 1. And same thing if you multiply by its reciprocal. So for 220 degrees, to convert that to radians, 
we just multiply by 360 on the bottom and 2 pi on top. Now I'm going to do that with my calculator. 220 times 2 divided by 360. I didn't put the pi in there because that way I can get my calculator to tell me that this is 11 over 9. So that's 11 pi over 9. 75 degrees, if I multiply that by 360 under 2 pi, that's 150 on top, 360 on bottom. That's a 5 pi over 12. And 10 degrees, well, if you multiply that by 360 under 2 pi, you get 20 over 360, which is 1 over 18. So this is pi over 18 radians. All right. And to convert the other way, you just multiply the other direction. 5 pi over 4 radians. Let's see, that's going to be 2 pi radians under 360. So the pi is canceled. You get 5 times 360 over 4 is 450 degrees. Okay, 3. Well, that's weird just to see a 3 there, but there's no problem. You just take this and you multiply 3 times um, 360 degrees over 2 pi radians. So 3 times 360 divided by 2. So you can either leave this as 540 over pi degrees, or you could just do, well, let's see, yeah, 3 times 360 over 2 divided by pi, or you could convert this to 171 point eight eight seven degrees. I'm going to put a squiggly equal in front because that's an approximation. And then 5 pi over 6, multiply that by 2 pi under 360. The pi is canceled. You get 5 sixths of that. Don't need my calculator for that. That's 300 degrees. Right. 